people turn their TVs on, watch a two-hour event, but what goes behind it is quite extraordinary. Staying with Formula One, Hang on, that's my foot. we delve into its rich history. Now we're just going to block it in. Always remembering not to screw yourself to the case. <laughs> As a world champion's former motor goes airborne. It's a historic vehicle, so obviously it's a bit special compared to the normal moves that we have. We're all happy. In Banbury, Haas F1 Team HQ is a hive of activity. The Formula One season is 10 days away, which means just 48 hours to pack a mountain of materials for air freighting to Australia. We're trying to make cars go fast around the world, but we're also making sure that we get that stuff around the world. Formula One is no stranger to spending a lot of money, and that money is spent even on just the customization of freight boxes, pallets for cars to go on. Uh, it's not just as simple as putting two cars on the back of a truck and off they go. It's a case of all the equipment, all the tires, uh, you know, pit gun equipment, pit walls, you know, th those little things. Everything's got to go. Really, until you've kind of seen it for yourself, you just you just can't appreciate the sheer scale that's uh, involved. So, no pressure and no missing nuts or bolts for operations manager, Tom. Over the next 24 hours, as we get ready to pack all our air freight for Australia, everything will be uh, palletized, uh, packed up into the air freight. The cars, as you see them on the track, they comprise uh, a chassis. They then have a front wing on the front of them. They have an engine, a gearbox, uh, and then the rear wing on the back. We travel the cars as, as just chassis as they are at the moment. So that chassis will be put in and then Everything is then assembled at the circuit to make it a full car. Unfortunately, you, you can't buy a Formula One car shipping set off the shelf, so it's everything's custom built. This is how the chassis will travel to Australia, be put into that frame so it's nice and rigid. That will then be built up into a pallet and will then go onto the freighter to Australia. The pit stop box is there. Struggling to compute the number of moves that would make a chess grandmaster wince is operations chief Jeff. So we've already started loading. It's Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon. There's 5,000 pieces that make up a car, but how do you break that down? There's a lot of pieces. There's 34,000 kilograms of pieces, ranging from car parts, nuts and bolts, to IT equipment, to clothing, to driver's equipment. The whole range and the people involved in the different jobs to get it on there is, is, is massive. Here we are in the uh, race base. We are preparing for the freight to Australia. We have everything built and packed in 12 hours from this point. If we get to Australia and we have too much work to do, we miss sessions. So when we're here, we try and achieve as much as we can with the spare parts and build spec that we have to allow the least amount of work to be conducted when we're at the track. The fragility of the, of the components is a key thing to take into account. One, because we don't want to be repairing them when we get to the track, but also these are prototype builds. So any damage, whether on the track or transport, is, is, is unacceptable. Despite the factory racing flat out to fill 11 air freight containers with thousands of car components, track racing is still paramount. Well, we're just about to do the uh, final pit stop practice of the pre-season, really. Uh, next time we do pit stop practice will be in Australia, so obviously the pressure's on me to squeeze it in while the guys are trying to pack all the cars up and all the freight. A blistering pit stop can be the difference between a place or disgrace. So race operations chief Jeff is looking for perfection. So all I want to do now is I just want to do 10 really good stops. Nothing more than that. Because I suppose now it starts. I know we've done the testing, but I suppose this is where it starts. Between all of us working together, we can hopefully make a difference. So that's the little speechy bit over. So we're all ready, yeah? Cool, nice warmer upper, static again. Ready, go. Okay, roll the car. Two point one. I think that's the best one of the year so far. A two point one seconds full tyre change is world class. Now, they must do a lightning-fast pack if they're to be ready for the Australia flight. 
This is a spare chassis. Uh, this travels in this spare chassis box. Uh, we need to try and get it in there. With it being a new chassis, it's slightly different to what we've uh, put in there before. There's a lot of other spare components that go around the box as well. So, um, yeah, it's the first time it's gone in there. So let's hope it fits. <laughs> Just be careful of the old side pods as well. I remember last time we had a sketch with that. Down, can't we? <laughs> no, I think it goes the other way. I don't think it's going to make a difference turning it around. No, that's about right. Happy with that? There's a different uh, detail on the roof of the box. So, yeah, trying to wedge things in and making sure it fits. So, it's just the. Uh, the old classic jigsaw pack up we're doing. It's like a good game of Tetris. <laughs> and we're losing. Yeah, we're losing quite badly at the minute. Eventually, after much head scratching, the pallet puzzle is solved. 